This video is how to set up your OKX Web3 wallet. So go and download the OKX application. If you have an exchange account set up already, you can see at the top it says exchange and wallet. So that's the two sides of the application. If you don't have an exchange account, you can still use the wallet, but some of the features are gonna be a bit limited. I would recommend just having an exchange account and signing up anyway, because it's free and you get all of the features. You don't have to trade on OKX, although you might want to if you're using the OKX wallet. I'll leave a link below to OKX if you are new. You can get a deposit bonus with that link as well. So uh, check that link out if you are signing up for an exchange account. From here though, once we do have our exchange account, we're gonna click over to the wallet. Now I've got mine set up already, so I'm gonna go through the setup process because there's a couple of different wallets that we can use and they are different in terms of the security and what you have to do. The OKX wallet application is really feature rich and there's a bunch of different ways that we can import wallets that we already own if we just wanna use the OKX application because we think it's you know, a, a better application. So if you own a wallet already, you can reload them into here. If you wanna create a new wallet, then there's two different ways to do this and they are different and so I'll explain the differences. Firstly, importing a wallet that you already own. If you already own a wallet, then you're gonna have a seed phrase or a private key for that wallet. Seed phrase is usually 12 words. For example, if you set up a wallet in Trust Wallet or a Coinbase wallet, they'll give you that 12 word phrase. So you can just import that into here and use the OKX appli application for your wallet that you already own. So click import wallet. From here it says, how do you want to reload the wallet? So you can press seed phrase or private key. And then I'm you know, assuming you have the seed phrase written down when you set up the previous wallet. So you can do that here. If you wanna connect a hardware wallet to the OKX app, do not import the hardware wallet seed phrase into the application because then you've turned your hardware wallet into a software wallet. So the way to link hardware wallets is to simply plug them into your device. So if you're using a ledger, you can uh, connect via Bluetooth. So you'll have your ledger set up already, I'm assuming. You connect it via Bluetooth. The OKX app will read the public balances of your hardware wallet, but you still sign the transactions on your hardware wallet. So never ever input your hardware wallet seed phrase into OKX. You just link them up uh, by the public balances and sign transactions on your hardware wallet. So if you have a wallet already, just reload into here and then you can use the OKX app as kind of a browser, but still maintaining uh, the ownership of your keys in the hardware wallet. And in the seed phrase, you just load that into OKX. If you're creating a brand new wallet within OKX, then there's two main options right here and there are some differences. So I wanna go through them now. You can see the differences when you uh, create a new wallet. It's gonna ask you which type of wallet do you want to create? So there's a keyless wallet and then there's just the seed phrase wallet. You should see keyless and seed phrase. What's the difference here? Well, actually they're the same type of wallet. They're exactly the same. It's just that they manage the seed phrase and the private keys of the wallet separately. That's the thing that you have to keep safe. So if you want to recover the wallet on a different device, you of course need the seed phrase that I've been talking about, which is 12 words. So usually you're asked to write those down somewhere safe. That's what's known as a software wallet, where essentially they're giving you a seed phrase and your wallet's on your phone, right? The benefit of this is that you own complete control of the wallet. You can use another application very easily by reloading your seed phrase into that wallet. So that's the normal way of doing things. Now, the downside here is that you're getting a seed phrase, which is 12 words, which on OKX looks like this. So it's gonna give you 12 words, you have to write them down, you have to keep them somewhere safe. Because if you lose the, that seed phrase and you lose access to the wallet, then you'll never get your money back. Also, if someone has your seed phrase, they have all your money because they can just reload it into their device and spend all your coins out of the wallet. So that's the problem. You have to write down the seed phrase physically and the private key is actually on your phone, right? Because you're setting up the OKX wallet. Now the other option on OKX is this keyless wallet. This is the exact same type of wallet, but this is a new way to try and secure the keys of the wallet known as MPC technology or multi-party computation. What happens is the private key and the seed phrase get generated to create your wallet. However, instead of giving you the seed phrase, what happens is that they encrypt the seed phrase for you. They split it into thirds. One of the third goes to OKX and they keep that third in their database and that's encrypted. That is connected to your OKX trading account. So in order to use Keyless, you do need an OKX account. Like I said, it's free, so you may as well have one anyway. You don't have to pay anything for that. Uh, I'll leave the link below, like I said. One of the third is on your phone and the other third is in your cloud account. Now, if you lose your phone, 
get a new phone or a new device, you can reload the wallet again because you can take your cloud share and OKX's share, put them together and create the wallet again. So this essentially means that we don't have to keep a physical store of our seed phrase. So this removes that. Um, it's also split up and meaning that the private key isn't just on your device and so it reduces hacking risk. So it is kind of a more modern way of setting up a wallet. Um, the downside is that it does require you to have an OKX account, right? And some people may not want that. They may just want complete self-sovereignty and to no one know what they're doing. And that's why the seed phrase is a little bit better. So seed phrases and MPC wallets are actually the same wallet. It's just how you manage the keys. Software wallets or seed phrase wallets here are a little bit old school. MPC is um, you know, a little bit easier to recover and you don't have to remember any words. You just have to remember uh, a password that you put onto your cloud encryption. So it's up to you whether you want to create a seed phrase wallet or create a keyless wallet. Actually, you can manage multiple wallets in the application. So you can set up both types if you want and see the balances within OKX Web3 wallet. Once you've created the type of wallet that you want, it will take you through to the main page right here, but we can add in extra wallets if we want and view those as separate wallets within the app as well. So come through to the wallet icon, it should be at the top here, so I'll click this, and it says down at the bottom, add wallet. So I'm gonna click that. And if you've got an MPC wallet, that's linked to your OKX account, you can only have one of those. If you have a, another wallet that you own with a seed phrase and you wanna import that here, click import wallet, and you can see that as a separate wallet all within the OKX application. From here, the hardware wallet, you can connect via Bluetooth, like I said, and the watch only wallet, this is for wallets that you own that you want to see their balances, but you don't want to assign transactions or use them in any way. This is great if you have cold storage, you don't want to assign transactions, but you do want to keep an eye on the balances over time. So that's how you add those wallets into the OKX application. And you can see all of your balances here down at the bottom where it says crypto. Deposit bonuses to OKX and the other exchanges I use will be linked down in the description below. I'm James, it's Manzi G. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.